Hi guys, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. Today we're gonna be talking about a habit that Warren Buffett has that he does every Monday. In a 2007 address at the University of Florida, he had this to say, he said, most behavior is habitual. And they say that the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. Today we're gonna talk about what that habit is and we'll talk about whether it's something we should be doing. Let's get to it. Well, Becky, uh on Good Friday, I was working. Mark Millard, who handles all the bonds and stock trades for the whole, for all of Berkshire, uh, was there. And uh, I knew I was leaving town on, on Sunday night. And Mark says, what do we do next week? And I said, here's what we do. And uh, on Monday, we always buy treasury bills. We bought about $2 billion of them. We got a 499% uh, bond equivalent yield. And, but... The only question is whether we buy three months or six months, and and uh, and I tell him use his own judgment uh, on that. All right, if you didn't pick up what that habit is, it's buying treasury bills, and he does it every Monday. Now you may have heard in there that he just has to choose whether he's buying the three month or the six month treasury bills. Today we're going to talk about that habit, buying treasury bills each week, and what that might do for you. For this discussion, we'll talk about four things. The first one will be very briefly just what is a treasury bill. I know many of you are already buying them, but some of you may not. And we'll quickly touch on what those are. The second thing that we'll talk about are just some advantages of treasury bills. The third thing we'll talk about is the importance of keeping cash on hand and what Mr. Buffett had to say about that. And then the fourth thing will be what buying treasury bills every week will do for you. Item number one, what is a treasury bill? Well, a treasury bill is essentially debt that the United States government or the U.S. Treasury is selling to people like you and me, as well as to banking institutions and even to other countries. Now, a treasury bill is U.S. government debt that is 52 weeks or less. We call that a treasury bill. If it's more than that, it's either a note or a bond, which we're not going to talk about today. You can buy them in various flavors, essentially. You can buy them in four week, eight week, 13 weeks, 17 week, 26 week, and 52 weeks. Those are the, the amount of weeks to maturity. You have to spend at least $100 to buy a treasury bill, and you can spend up to $10 million in treasury bills for each type of treasury bill. So you could buy a $10 million of four week treasury bill and $10 million of an eight week treasury bill during the same auction. And these auctions take place every week. That's the brief explanation. If you want more information, you can go to Treasury Direct and they have some good information there about Treasury bills. All right, item number two, there are five advantages that I see to having Treasury bills. Now, I actually did a video in more in depth about this, so I'm not gonna belabor this point too much, but let me just quickly talk about these five advantages that I see. Number one, it's risk-free. There aren't, there really isn't anything that's actually risk-free, but this is considered the risk-free rate or the risk-free investment out there. And that's because it's backed by the full faith and credit of the United States government. Now that would lead to a discussion potentially about what happens if the government defaults, but that's a different topic for a different day. Number two is that the worth of this investment is known, meaning you're going to buy a treasury bill and at its maturity date, you will know what it will be worth, which is different than purchasing a stock. The third advantage that I see is that Treasury bills have some tax advantages. If you're not aware of it, treasury bills are not taxable by state and local governments. So compared to a high yield savings account or a certificate of deposit, you can effectively increase your rate of return by not paying taxes to your state or local government. The fourth thing that I see is the really high purchase limits that I talked about, 10 million per type of treasury bill per auction. Knowing that this is a risk-free type of investment, I certainly do not fall into this category necessarily, but if you have a lot, a lot of money to spend on treasury bills, you're trying to save a lot of money, you can increase your guarantee buying treasury bills versus using an FDIC insured bank account, which is only insured up to $250,000. The last thing that I see for treasury bills is that they're very liquid. It's pretty much like having cash. You, there is such a wide open market for treasury bills that you can sell these almost instantaneously to retrieve your cash. Now, that may come at a loss 
And if you watch my other video, I'll explain that more in detail. The third item then for this discussion is the importance of having cash on hand. Let's just refer to what Mr. Buffett had to say about having cash. Is we will always have a lot of cash on hand. We have treasure bills. Uh, we would, we believe in having cash. And uh, uh, there have been a few times in history and will be more times in history where, where if you don't have it, you, know, you don't get to play the next day. I mean, it, uh, uh, it's just, uh, uh, it's like oxygen, you know. It's there all the time, but if it disappears for a few minutes, it's all over. In the 2014 Berkshire Hathaway annual report, that cash quote went just a little bit differently. This is how it read back then. Cash, though, is to a business as oxygen is to an individual. Never thought about it when it is present. The only thing in mind when it is absent. When bills come due, only cash is legal tender. Don't leave home without it. Now, he was talking about what cash is like to a business, but I would argue that running a family is much like running a business, and having some cash on hand is always going to be important, and when you don't have it, it's going to be the only thing you can think about. Let's just talk then, the fourth item of discussion, what would it look like if you were buying treasury bills every week? Well, when we talk about buying a stock every week or every month, we talk about dollar cost averaging. Essentially, you're leveling, leveling out what your average price is that you've paid for a stock. In similar fashion, if you were to buy treasury bills every week, you would be dollar cost averaging. There is another way though to think about treasury bills. You may have heard about a bond ladder. It is possible to build a treasury bill ladder as well. Now essentially building a ladder is a strategy to invest in treasury bills in this case with different maturity dates between the various weeks that I already mentioned. And as the short bill matures, you then take that money and reinvest it potentially in one that is longer. But you'll want to be paying attention to the various yields of these treasury bills. The idea then is that every four weeks or every eight weeks or every 13 weeks, however you determine your treasury bill ladder, you have a bill maturing and then you reinvest that money in the treasury bill of your choice. Let's just wrap up this discussion by looking at what the current treasury bill yields look like in case you're thinking you would like to build a treasury bill ladder. Everything is looking really good actually, except for the four week treasury bill. Now these are the issue dates and that's why it says 425 when it's not quite the 25th of April yet. But the treasury bill that gets issued next week is going to have a relatively low yield compared to all of the other treasury bills. You can see it's down here in the 3.3% range. Everything else looking nicely in case you're thinking you would like to build a treasury bill ladder. Perhaps you want to look at what Warren Buffett is doing, either the three month or the six month. I particularly like the three month, that 13 week treasury bill. That's the one here in gray. And I also like the 17 week treasury bill which you're looking at more like a four month. Share this type of information with a young person in your life. Get them investing early and making wise money decisions. And as always, until next time, enjoy your investing.